In tennis, seven-time Wimbledon champion Serena Williams is glad to be seeded at this year's tournament. Serena is playing her second Grand Slam since returning from the birth of her first child and has been seeded 25th despite dropping to 183 in the world rankings. The 36-year-old has not lost in London since she was upset by Alizé Cornet in 2014. She will begin her campaign against Russ on Monday. Meanwhile, former world number one Andy Murray has announced that he has withdrawn from Wimbledon and on the eve of the tournament. Two-time winner Murray had been expected to play, having given no indication he would pull out despite concerns over his fitness following over a year out with a hip injury. He competed at Eastbourne, where he lost to compatriot Kyle Edmund and Queens, where he was knocked out by Nick Kyrgios. He was due to face Benoit Père in the first round. Two civilians have been killed in an attack on a military patrol in northern Mali. About a dozen people were wounded in the attack, including 48 French Bakane troops. Bakane being the name of the near 4,000-strong French force stationed in its former colonies across the Sahel region. The attack comes two days after Islamist militants killed at least six people during a raid on a military headquarters in central Mali, where French troops are helping combat jihadists across its vast desert. The Malian defense spokesman confirmed the attack today, describing it as a car bomb that drove into a joint Bakane Malian army patrol. France's army spokesman, Patrick Steger, confirmed that civilians had been killed in an attack in Gao and that the army was assessing the state of the 30-strong French patrol that came under attack. Meanwhile, French authorities say notorious gangster Edouard Fade has escaped from a prison in Paris, helped by several heavily armed men who created a diversion at the entrance, while a helicopter landed in the courtyard to take him away. A 46-year-old had been serving a 25-year sentence for a failed robbery, during which a police officer was killed. Fade and his accomplices escaped from the prison courtyard, which was not protected by a net without injuring anyone. Armed men reportedly took him from the visitor's room where he was talking to his brother, Brahim, before fleeing by air. And the main news again. President Mahmoud Buhari has called for the repatriation of looted funds without legal obstacles. The Lagos state government today ordered fuel tankers restrict their movement to a designated route, just as owners of articulated vehicles are mandated to get their certificate of roadworthiness within 30 days. The remains of matriarch of a countess in Nigeria, Mrs. Olutoni Olakoring, has been laid to rest amid praises and commendation. And two persons have been killed while several others wounded in an attack on a military patrol in northern Mali. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.